Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. George! Last unit of the day, nice and packed, guys. Big unit, 10 by 15 all the way up. 450, yep. 450, 475, 475, bit of 75, uh, 450, bid 75, 475, bit of 75, 55, bit of 75, 450, bid 75, 450, bid 75, bit of 75, 55, bit of 75, 475. I got four and a half, need 475, 475, bit of 75, 55, bit of 75, anybody 75? 450, last call, 475. <laughs> you got it, $450. Got it, Let's open it up. It's all boxes and all totes. Really exciting. If I find a couple cool ones, I'll open them up and we'll show you, but we're going to be working on this probably for a week for sure. I know what you're all thinking. What the hails are they doing today? Well, it's me and Standin' George is back and it's freezing in the warehouse. It's snowing outside in Ohio so bad that we've got to get out of here and we got to go south. But to make sure we stay warm, I got a little I got a little secret weapon right here. So all you do is oh, 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 oh. you just have to make sure you don't let anything slip out or the whole warehouse could go at any moment, at any time. You ready to dig in? Yeah. Stand in, George? All right, let's do this. I don't know why, but me and Stand in, George always love to get into boxes that say things like what? What's that say, Stand in, George? These. Yes, DISC, okay? So things like that, it's the junk drawer. It really gives you a sense of who the person is. He's the Colonel. <laughs> yes, we got the Colonel. Oh, you know your American icons. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, this looks like this is actually all personal items. Let's see, let me just, let's see. Yeah, we definitely, we got some personal things going on here. I think these are the 11 herbs and spices, the secrets. You think these spices. are the secrets? Let's just see here, and let me look, let me look. Oh my God! Here, stand in, George. Put your hand right there, right there. This is legal paperwork. Look at this. This is legal paperwork. All right, up, hand up, just a little bit. External and internal evidence of recent therapy. Number one. <laughs> Does that say what I think it says? <laughs> a peg tube. Peg tube. I think we have the one and only pirates storage unit. Now we just have to find the the parrot. Stand in George, aren't those beautiful? She is so pretty. So pretty. Oh, she doesn't have dark hair like you though. No, looks like my daughter's. That's looks, okay. Not everybody can be this gorgeous. That's that's you mean George's. Georges. Oh, there you go. There's one just like you. Now we are gonna figure out the mystery of the peg tube. You gotta give us some time because there's a ton of personal paperwork in there. But we're gonna try and figure it all out and we're gonna try and figure that out to share with you. So give us some time. We're gonna go through boxes as we do some reading and research as well. It says store in dry place away from odorous products. So let's keep it in the bathroom. Uh -huh. well, hey, you remember the last time you were playing me cowbell in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Uh, condo. That's a good That's a good sign, right? Let's see. What do we have? What types of bathroom products did they use? Uh, I don't know. They look like big. Whatever it was, it was big bathroom products. That one's stuck in there. Oh, my goodness. What do we have? What is this? Oh. Oh. oh! Look what I just found. This has got to be... Oh, you know what goes after the chickens, right? Meow. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. I want to look under here. Oh, it's made in Portugal. All right, and uh, the chicken's still trying to get after me now. He's quite the pecker. There's no doubt about that. This... This piece could be worth a lot of money. Look at that Egyptian cat right there. And the piece that uh, Stan and George has, 
There's a bottom to it as well. Those chicken candy dish. That what color was that? I bet you that's the bottom. Oh, it's orange. All right, so he's got his orange dish here. So, oh no, no, that's not good. That's a bummer. Yep, that's a bummer. Well, let's see what else we have here. Oh, there's another pretty kitty. There is another pretty kitty. And if there's one thing, there's one thing that Egyptian women love and single women, it's cats, mm -hmm. without a doubt. Yep. Oh, there you go. Another. You got. Things. There, there, there. It's good now. It's good. You're all set. There you go. So maybe there's another top to that one. Time will only tell. You have another chicken. Yay. Is it? Oh, and man. you have another cat. Look at that. You want to play a game, Stand In George? Yeah. All right, guess what's in the box? More boxes. Let's find out if you're right. And Stand In George is absolutely 100%. It's your favorite. My favorite. You've got more puzzles, and it's boxes. It's absolutely boxes. Do, is, is it brand new, or is it... Oh, looks like that's open. I wonder if the actual puzzle, or are they hiding money? Remember, people who went through the Depression hide money in the craziest places. And so we're not sure yet if these people went through the Depression. We don't know the exact age. We know they passed away. So we have to actually look through everything. Even this... Stand in George. You're it's thinking what I'm thinking? It's your favorite. You love boots. <laughs> no. It explains the peg tube. Oh. It's the pirate ship. It's the galleon. Let's see if the pirate ship is in here. You, oh, the pirate ship is in here for sure. It's stuck. Here, I'll try and grab that out. Why you? I'll get the galleon. Oh, somebody actually pirated the pirate ship. Can you guys see inside there? Somebody pirated the pirate ship. Look at this. So, Stan and George, you were saying, hey, oh. would you ever take this to your house? And this is the reason why it's all in a warehouse. Because somebody pirated the pirate ship. You know what that is, right? Stowaways. Stowaways. You never want mice on the pirate ship. So that's that's not good. That's not good at all. We found another one. Oh, yeah. Which one is that one? Oh. Oh, look what I found. Look what I found. A 1932 Ford three-window coupe. Let's see, we probably don't have a knife, do we? Oh, Stan and George is, is getting the pirate ship out. This is the, and the clipper, I think. That's the clipper? Nope, nope, nope. Any, oh, yes, it is the clipper. Any stowaways? No, this one's actually Oh, man, condition. that is beautiful. That is, that is absolutely beautiful. This, this is starting to put the pieces together of the peg tube. The peg tube leg, without a doubt. Um... Oh, by the way, it's beyond freezing cold in the warehouse. That, and my breath still is bad. I might brush my teeth one of these days. And I don't have, I don't have a knife to open this. Let me grab a key, okay? Here. I've got, actually, you know what might open this better? I've got some ammunition. Actually, I've got some. I've got some ammunition, some bullets over here, on the. Hey, that's Remington. Okay. Well, yeah. I figure if anything, it'll open, right? It's just sitting on the desk because we usually won't sell the ammunition. Look at that. Look at that. Explosive. Explosive opening there. Stand in, George. You know the rules. Safety first. Okay. Um. Well, that's not working. Hold a second. Let me get. Let me get rid of that. Let me. Here, I'll just. Well, maybe now. Here, oh! there we go. There we go. Um, I got it. I got it. I got a kaki. Is your leg all right? <laughs> Did that hit you? Yes. All right. So there's the kaki. Here we go. Okay. And man, I can't. I can't luck out on this one, can I? Use bullets, kakis. There it is. Brand new. Oh, wow. Brand new. Don't worry. Everybody was safe in the filming of this box. Except for Stan and George. 
Uh, what do we have? Parcheesi? Parcheesi! I love Parcheesi! You, you know, did? I've never actually played Parcheesi. I thought you loved it. But I've never actually played it. Or Monopoly. Oh, apparently it's a back a, a backgammon game of India. Oh, I love backgammon. My daddy used to play with Baba used to play it with me. Oh, uh, great Baba or just Baba? Just Baba. Who's your Baba? You know who my Baba is. <laughs> have you ever watched anything by May? Danny May's DVDs. Is that what it is? I think so. You know, they say the way to see culture is through the arts. So music, movies. Let's find out exactly who May was. Are you ready? Yeah. Make my day, May. Yeah. And it what was she watching? DVDs. Oh, she loved Kung Fu, huh? Mm-hmm. Look, Kung Fu right there. Yeah. Who is that? That's not the original Kung Fu. Yeah, I don't know. There he is. There's... David Carradine. Right the, there. On the other side. And yes. yep, there he is. Maybe. Is that him? Yeah, this is older David, isn't it? Or younger David? Huh. Well, the good news is it's in there. You think that's younger? Yeah, that might be young. I don't know. I don't know. So she liked Kung Fu. Oh, that is him. She, oh, Man on a Ledge. Man on a Ledge. It's a great movie. Yeah, that one is a good one. That's what, it all takes place. Uh, let me let me share the plot of the movie with you. There's a man, he's on a ledge. So there you go. Uh, no spoilers though. The whole okay? movie is on edge. And Kill the Irishman. This actually is a documentary that takes place in Cleveland. Is it really about the Irish mafia? Yep. Oh wow! You, you guys all know that uh, that George grew up in Cleveland, so she knows this stuff. So the quest for Noah's Ark. Ooh, I haven't you seen that built one. Noah's Ark, didn't you? Uh, I wanted to build Noah's Ark as a hotel conference center, but I never got the chance to do it. That was part of my ten-year plan, but I'm not doing that anymore. Now I'm building a YouTube channel, <laughs> <laughs> and it and it houses oh. way more animals. Do you see what I see? Baby, look. Oh, whoa. It's the History Channel. Who's your mommy? And your baba. Uh, let's see. These people definitely loved Egyptian uh, Egyptian art and... Who doesn't? And Michael Jackson. There you go. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. Ow! Let's see. What else do we have? And oh, House. This is one of George George's favorite TV series. He always wanted to be a doctor. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought he always wanted to be a YouTube comedian. Well, he is now. Oh, well, you know, we all have dreams. I would prefer the comedian over the doctor. And Fortress, Jack Benny. All right, so basically in a nutshell, we probably have... Oh, Titanic. Look at that. I don't remember this version of the Titanic. One voyage, one world, untold story. I don't I don't either, but the beautiful part is is the movies are actually all in there. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite movie, your all-time go-to favorite movie that you have to watch, you have to have, you know, is it is it Columbo because May here seemed to love her Columbo or is it something more like CSI because May also loves CSI. Let us know in the comments. Both of those are detective mysteries. And we still have the unsolved mystery of who is the Stand-In George. Stand-In George, remember when we found the turtle yesterday? Yeah. Do you think we have another one? Does that say turtle or thurtle? Um, I'm still struggling with reading. Does that say Tiffany or does it say Ty Fan Y? Tiffany. Ty Could be Tiffany. Let's see. Man, if we have a Tiffany turtle in here, where would it be? Okay, definitely not this. That's the towel bar. Okay, we'll set that aside. Oh, I'm starting to see something. I'm starting to see something. No, no, let's, let's, let's figure what that is first. But, oh, I see something down at the bottom. I think everybody's going to be excited. Oh, I think everybody's going to be excited. Look at this. I've got the porcelain Dutch shoe. All right, and I do see another one in there. There's a set. Oh, there's gonna be some serious money. Stand in George, what'd you find? I found old newspaper, which I love finding the dates on old newspapers. Okay, I have two of the Dutch shoes. This is, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Okay, we're gonna save it for last. Oh, wow, that's pretty. What, oh, that is, you know what that means. They bought this 
at a thrift store. That's an oil pen marker. So that was a thrift store find. And that, who knows where they got that. But you can still find incredible things at thrift stores. We teach you how to do that all the time. Look at this, more Dutch shoes. I think I got a set in here. I think so. Uh, yeah. These are petite Egyptian size. These aren't Dutch anymore. We're just going to say these are Egyptian. So that's that's for that's for Stan and George right there. Okay. We got a big set of Dutch shoes and a small set. We got a Jeremy set and a, and a George set. You know the Egyptians taught the Dutch how to dance. I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, isn't that where the whole Dance Like an Egyptian song came from? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. George! Oh, wow. I was just looking oh, this up. On, oh, oh, no, it's broke. This was the $100 one on eBay. No, it's broke. This is the $100 one. Ah, oh, this is a lamp. It's another snail lamp. I'm going to see if I can fix that. I think you can. So this lamp, this is an easy $100 on eBay. I'm going to try and glue it and fix it. That's cool. Here, here, we'll put that over here. And I think, I think, <laughs> I think, oh, I just thought, I thought George broke, broke the Tiffany. Oh, I Sorry, know what this baby, is. I, didn't mean to scare you. I know what this is. Actually, I thought the, I thought the, uh, the actual bullets went off. I know what this is. Just like yesterday, this is the more expensive one. And if this one isn't broken, oh, this is awesome. These are the little lamps. I put these in the camper and I leave them on all through the night. I love it. Look, it's brand new. It's never even been plugged in. Wow. This is easy $100 right here. This is a lamp. You can see the actual bulb right there. Tiffany style shell. These are incredible little lamps. I love it. This is going in the camper too with the other one. So this would be two turtles that we found in this unit. The first one was about a $10 turtle. This is about a $100 turtle with this style. And then the snail that you just saw, that was an easy $100 as well, but the shell is broken. I'm going to try and fix it. This is awesome. It's stuff. How are we going to get this box open? Well, on my way back from Egypt, I made sure to get... Knife. Wow! Made by my ancestors. Whoa! What kind of what kind of knife do you call that? This is a a killing knife. Sakin. A sakin knife. Okay. All right. Stan and George is going for it here. I, I don't know. Real George. Real George handles a knife a, a, a bit better. What do you mean? I am real George. Uh, uh, dangerous is what I'm trying to say. Oh. With a capital. Dangerous. What do we have here? Okay, this is whoa, downright dangerous with that thing. Safety first. Okay, safeties. What did you do that was safe with that? All right, so oh, look at what we have here. Look at what we have here. Abraham, more like Babraham, right, babe? <laughs> yeah, you know it, babe. All right, you know somebody was oh. just asking me for. Flag. Yeah. Do you remember when somebody was asking me for a flag? I was asking you for a flag earlier. You, that's true. So George was actually asking me, do we have any flags at the warehouse? And she particularly mentioned sewn on stars. And she said, this is where the money is. These can sell off upwards to $400. $400? Wow. This looks like all flag, no stripes. I mean, all, all, well, there's a stripe. Okay, I was going to say all stars and no stripes. Okay, so we're going to put that nicely back in the bag there. And we're going to make sure this flag gets a good, good home. All right, what else do we have here? This was part of Gary's stuff, right? Do you think it's in here? Let's see. Is it? In yep, it sure is. Yep, all right. Let's find out who Gary was calling. Wait, I don't, I don't even know how to power this thing. Is there a way to power? On. Turn on. A K132. Is this like a robot phone? I don't know. Look how sticky that thing is. It's so sticky. 
that's how sticky it is. That's it's kind of gross, to be honest. All right, let's just put that one back in. Oh, baby, you're touching it. Don't worry, I'll wash my gloves later. <laughs> ah, ah, if you haven't found a stand in George to laugh at your jokes, you don't know what you're missing. This is an old Timex. It's a little bigger than some of the watches I've seen, but still nice. This is an old courting trouble. Yep, oh, so we'll just set that aside there. Oh, is this what you were just... Is oh that what you goodness, saw? Oh my goodness, Jeremy, I've been waiting for this moment. Stand so in, George. Fans. Stand in, George. You're going to be lonely for a long time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I have a cough. Oh. Look at that. That's got to be a collectible oh, wow. plate. Tigers are my favorite. Tigers are? Mm-hmm. I thought you liked giraffes. Oh, maybe I like giraffes. Huh. What about this? Look at this. Another another train. Here's a desktop locomotive train set. Let's, is it in here? It is. It is. Wow, this is nice. It's all in here. Wow. This is a train to go on your desk. How cool is that? It's really cool. Wow. It's kind of nice. Gary had good taste. And oh, I can't believe Captain Fumble Nuts. Here we go. All right, so I dropped it. Stan and George got it. Oh no, he lost his head. Uh, oops, lost the caboose. Actually, I think that just goes right on. It should be magnetic, right? Yeah, if you say so. Yep, apparently not. Boop, yep. Oh, there we go. All right. And what else do we have in here? We've got. Oh, these are, believe it or not, these are pretty collectible on eBay. The old, so anytime you can find, like in a in a thrift store or anything like that, any comic books, you know, the old cartoons and comics, this actually goes for a decent price. So and by decent, I mean like ten bucks and ten bucks and maybe you know seven bucks. But the bigger ones can go for fifty, some seventy five, and even some for a hundred. This is where Jeremy gets all his jokes from. 500 clean jokes and humorous stories. And how to tell them. Verbally. Stand in George. I had no idea you would put on such relaxing music for the unboxing. I got into the Kung Fu theme after we saw that video. Well, it's about time for you to go Kung Fu on this box. Are you ready, Stan and George? It looks like somebody tried to wrap it like a mummy. Oh! Hiya! Oh, what do you... Stan and George, what do you have? Uh, another canoe. Uh, it looks like you have a pirate hook there. A pirate hatchet oh, hand. Oh, yep, just to go along with our pirate theme here. All right. Let's see what we have. Are you ready? In three, two, one. And ooh, ooh. I recognize those from when I worked in the nursing home. Oh, look at that. There's a syringe. What would that be for? Uh, that's a turkey baster. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Right there. Turkey baster. Small turkey. They can't all be big turkeys. Sorry, people. Um, what would, is this what I think it is? Is that a catheter? Yeah. Oh, gosh. What are those? Is that? Oh, those are to hold the needles in place. Oh, man. Look at all this medical stuff. There's a ton of it. Oh, look at this. What would... What's sodium... Sodium chloride injection? What would... What would all this be for? Any idea? Isn't sodium chloride just salt? I would think so. Maybe I could just save this for when the snow comes and the ice comes and I can just pour this. I could pour this on the on the porch and the steps and everything, right? Wouldn't that just melt everything? Hmm. Wow. What's this? Oh man. Oh man. Those are IVs. I think. These are IVs. What the hails are we getting ourselves into? Look at this. These are IVs. These are full IVs. Look at this. This is known as the bone. What on earth? Earth. I have no idea. This is wild. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? I I bet 
the story is in the box with all the legal paperwork. Why don't we dig into that? Let's dig into the box with all the legal paperwork. Let's figure this story out once and for all. The story of the pirate with the peg tube. Which the tubes are now. Let's hope, let's hope the peg tube wasn't in reference to what this is using. Going through that box, we found multitudes of paperwork and lawsuits and all kinds of things. But here, here's something I want you to see. Look at this. So there were some pretty big deal things in this in regards to paperwork. And there we go. This is actually evidence. This is evidence in some lawsuits with housing. Look at that. How do, how do you even live like that? So this is all kinds of mold and things like that. We're going to set that aside. Bankruptcy was a huge issue. As a matter of fact, the thing that I found is that Gary was married before and he and his ex-wife actually filed for bankruptcy and May was married before and they did the exact same thing. Both of them lost their spouses and then they remarried. But as they remarried, one second here, one second here, um, they got into financial issues as well. Now, my only guess could be a couple of different things. Number one, medical, which you're going to see real soon. Stay tuned. But number two, spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on craft supplies. Pretty good way to go into debt pretty fast. And not only that, got the gas shut off and back behind in rent. Uh, this is $860. And they then filed for chapter 11 as well. So it kind of just went on and on and on. Debt collectors, see that last line right there? Actually the first line, <laughs> debt collectors. So it was a spiraling out of control issue, which then, unfortunately, they got kicked out of their home and then that's not even the most surprising thing of it all. Stand in, George. We need you to tell us the rest of the story. Okay. It's me, Stand in, George. <laughs> you guys never guessed it. Well, some of them did. <laughs> Actually, the vast majority, 99% thought <laughs> it was you, and the other 1% thought it was Suburban Beard and Manny. I thought my impersonation was spot on. I thought you were doing really good. All right, so what we learned about um, Gary is that he was the son of Mike, who passed away at the St. Augustine Manor. And this is the entire lawsuit. Huge lawsuit. That he went through multiple, multiple... Um, episodes uh, that he had to appear in court and that they were fighting for because they believed that his father was, I'm going to say in a sense, murdered by the hospital, by yep. the hospital, yep. by the acting physician that was there at the time. So what ended ha what ended up happening is that the physician that found him dead, which he was actually found by the nursing staff in his bed, passed away. The doctor that was on staff that day took it upon himself to send straight to the funeral home for embalming without a coroner being there to uh, put the cause of death in. He, he put his own cause of death in as the acting um, um, physician. So what ended up happening was he never notified the next of kin that their father had died. So they took that as malpractice and they attempted to sue for no less than $250,000, which we can't find the actual verdict. But according to this, the physician's lawyers came back and said that Gary, who was doing the suing, had no no case, no laws were broken, he had no evidence to point that the physician actually did any wrongdoing. So according to that, we're going to go ahead and assume that he probably did not win. But the weird part about it is, is the physician did send him straight to the, nurse, the uh, funeral home for embalming without actually finding out the cause of death. So when that was found out, the family, the next of kin, Gary, sent his father back to the coroner's office to get a final... And an approved... Um, because they thought it was a cover-up. They thought it was a cover-up. They thought something was a miss. Malpractice. The doctor did something wrong and he was trying to cover up what and he did. According to the physician who they were suing, the cause of death was deterioration of the heart, which the coroner later confirmed to be heart disease. So he wasn't too far off. So a little bit of a scandal going on. And we don't know if there was an official payout or not. We do not. But what a long and lengthy thing to drag on. Wow. Sad.